at the Nexus. Advertising universe subroutine how it works pre-selected for playback from my databanks. May we begin? Advertising is a keystone of world economy. Selling, buying, trading and recruitment all depend on advertising to reach their respective markets. Let's take a look at recruitment. In recruitment, the advertiser has positions that they need to fill. In order to fill these positions, they ideally need to reach out to a very specific pool of potential candidates via online advertising. To see how this works, let's go back to the dawn of time, back to the 1990s. Whoa! Back then, advertisers had to place job ads where they thought the most people would see them. Not just the people the ads were intended for, just anyone. This old model of advertising was capable, at best, of reaching the 12% of your audience actively looking for work. This 12% are highly contested over by advertisers, but not necessarily representative of the cream of the crop. In order to see the best and broadest spread of candidates, we need to reach out to the remaining 88%. But how can we do this? After all, they're not actively visiting job sites, and they have no single website around which to converge. Let's fast forward to now. With a growing online population, increased visual noise and more and more niche audiences, modern advertising has had to evolve into programmatic media buying. Programmatic media buying allows specific adverts to be shown to specific people based on their behaviours and personal interests. In programmatic media buying, a company known as a media buyer must define an audience for the advertiser. Say an accountancy firm called Massive Bankers wanted to recruit a large number of financial professionals in London, England. The media buyers have to separate the financial professionals out from the millions of people online and then further cull the list down to those in the appropriate region. The media buyers can't just pull complete profiles from online directories like Facebook and LinkedIn. Instead, they must collect pieces of information users feed to the internet on a daily basis, reassembling the data into user profiles, like a billion piece jigsaw puzzle without a picture on the box, all extracted from different source points. Let's take, for example, this spec of data. It's an email address, audityoucanbe at hotmail.com. It was used to sign up to an accountancy forum. This same email is used on a Facebook account on a mobile device. The Facebook account is public, and our user's name is Keith. Ah, he works for an accountancy firm called A Bunch of Bankers. Keith's mobile also just checked in at an accountancy convention in England. Ah, the glamorous life of the accountant. The media buyer's algorithm has built a sufficiently detailed profile about Keith, confirming that he is in fact a financial professional based in the correct area. And so Keith is added to the Financial Professionals dataset. One profile in thousands of suitable candidates. Keith and the entire dataset can be targeted online in real time, meaning we can send adverts directly to whatever site they're visiting over and again throughout the campaign span, ensuring they don't miss out on the accountancy opportunity of a lifetime. As the campaign develops, the massive bankers realise they also need to attract actuaries. So our fine people at the media buying firm now have to further refine the dataset to target profiles that show experience as an actuary, further narrowing down the audience, but providing more quality leads without increasing the spend. When the campaign concludes, the massive bankers get applications by the dozen. This targeted campaign has resulted in greater choice and quality of candidates from traditional routes and at a lower cost per return. Additionally, Keith and friends were shown ads that were genuinely of use to them. So, next time you're considering advertising, you should give a media buyer a call. I just wish I could recommend a company. I really do, but I can't seem to think of anyone right now. Anywho, I look forward to seeing you at the Nexus sometime soon.